It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. Number one, the presidential campaign season is in full effect and both campaigns are focusing on making the most of the remaining nine weeks. Democrat Joe Biden has emerged from quarantine. And this Monday, he had a visit to a former steel mill in Pittsburgh as Democrats try to recapture the state of Pennsylvania. Despite requests not to travel to Kenosha by the city's mayor and governor of Wisconsin, Donald Trump made the trip anyway Tuesday to the city on the edge following the shooting of 29-year-old Jacob Blake. During the trip, he did not visit the Blake family, but focused on law enforcement groups and owners of businesses damaged and destroyed by violence as he tries to woo former supporters, namely suburban white women. Number two, federal, state, and local authorities held a press conference in Atlanta last week to announce that 39 children ages 3 to 17 were found as a part of Operation Not Forgotten. 15 of the 39 minors were trafficked for sex. In 2019, there were over 400,000 reports of missing children in the United States. Authorities estimate that 90% are endangered runaways. Similar rescue operations are underway in many large cities around the country. Number three, health officials are warning parents and students returning to in-person instruction that traces of Legionella, the bacteria responsible for Legionnaire's disease, have been found at several schools in Ohio and Pennsylvania. According to the CDC, Legionnaire's disease is a serious and sometimes fatal type of pneumonia, which can be caught by breathing in mist from water contaminated with the bacteria. The bacteria can multiply in dormant water systems like those in schools and office buildings that have been shut down during the pandemic. Number four, after being wrongfully convicted and spending 44 years in jail for rape and burglary, Ronnie Long is free. Despite the fact that none of the evidence, including fingerprints and hair samples, tied Long to the crime, he went to jail, convicted by an all-white jury in North Carolina. This is another example of how systemic racism has taken the life of another black citizen. Thankfully, Mr. Long is alive to tell his story. Number five, memes have always served as the gateway to contemporary pop culture, especially when it comes to young consumers. Warner Music Group just dropped a massive $85 million bag on a media brand that primarily serves teen users with its network of social accounts. An executive at Alamo Records recently highlighted that strategically placed meme can increase streaming numbers between 122% and 600%. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Stephen Hill and Myra J. as we discuss today's top headlines and more. And don't forget to watch me in bed, that's right, with my girlfriends every week on my YouTube channel. That's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.